All right, guys, so today I'm taking a look at a heated comb, essentially. So this is good for, you can use it for the hair on the top of your head, or you can use it for your beard. Now, if you ever had seen any of my previous videos from several months ago, uh, right as the summer started, my beard was considerably longer, and I probably will grow it back out. Uh, but even now, you know, you can get some frizzy, uh, you know, action going on here with the beard, even with a smaller uh, amount. So you basically just would comb, you know, like this, you know, and you can comb it down and uh, you know, use your beard comb and everything also. But I think this is pretty cool. What I actually did though is my mother actually has pretty frizzy hair. She's always frustrated by it. So she's actually wanting to buy one of these for herself now uh, just because of the fact that she used it. And so I'm gonna show you a portion of the video, you know, here in a moment. And it's basically just gonna be, uh, the before and after is just gonna be that one side is gonna be done and one side's not gonna be done. Her hair is pretty dark, so I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up, but I hopefully it'll show up well enough. Um, I kinda tried to have her stand in front of a window so you can see some light going through, but you'll see one side's pretty smoothed out, one side isn't. So it does make a, a pretty significant difference, enough that after all of these years, she's finally potentially found something she thinks might work to help eliminate some of the issues that she has with the frizziness. So that's a pretty cool thing. Uh, you have two different temperature settings, uh, three, was it 320? Yeah, 320 to 392 degrees. And there's a little indicator light here that lights up. Now, two things. One, on the Amazon listing, I believe I read that there's a red light, a green light, depending upon the temperature settings. I only observed a red light even after letting it sit for a while to make sure that it had can, you know, definitely heated to its maximum level. But I've tried both of the heat settings and it is warm, but it's not something that you're gonna really probably uh, burn yourself too easily because of the raised portions here keeps it from coming in direct contact with your skin. So right now it's actually still warm, but I can hold it. Um, and it's not, un it's not unpleasant or anything like that. And this is after, and it's been less than five minutes after it's been used. So it also comes with this little hook you can hang it by, and this thing rotates 360 degrees, which makes it very easy to manipulate, and a 79 inch long cord, so very easy to work with in that regard. And it does have this Velcro piece for uh, cable management, which makes it a lot nicer. And it's not very heavy. It's also you know, relatively compact and small, so you could actually carry this with you and travel with this very easily if you wanted to. The length's 8.15 inches. Um, 11.78 ounces, so not large by any means. Uh, the only other discrepancy that I saw, um, I believe that it's listed on the Amazon listing and in the manual two different ways. One says 15, one says 30 seconds. Either way, half a minute max, but it gets fairly warm fairly quickly, regardless of whether it's 15 or 30 seconds. Maybe somebody just missed out on the translation. So I'd say, you know, 30 seconds or so and a red indicator light it doesn't matter. You'll know if you flip, you know, flipped it into one position or the other because it is labeled. So you just pay attention to that. And that's pretty much it as far as the device. It does work, you know, like I said, rather well. I'm not going to demonstrate it on myself just because I think that my mom's hair is frizzier by far, and that's going to give you a much better example. But I mean, again, it's it's just a combing action, you know, like you would comb. And if you actually had, you know, another comb and you followed it up with it behind it you're gonna get a, a much more dramatic effect. Um, a lot of guys with beards, uh, if they're trying to straighten or smooth, will actually, I mean, obviously you can use beard oils and different things, but if you wanna do it, you would take a hair dryer and you would follow down the comb. And this kind of combines the two, so it makes it a little bit simpler, a little bit faster and easier, and you're able to use it and go. I mean, she made a couple of passes and it was done. So it's something you can get done really quickly. You just wanna make sure that your hair is clean and dry before use. You will have a, a little user manual here, and they do have a little support uh, not really a support, but a gift card, but it has an email on it. So I guess if you need to support and everything, you can contact them. And the only other thing to note, and it's not really a problem because it does have this hook you can hang it with, but there's no stand of any sort. So if you're concerned about, like, I don't know what delicate surface you might be dealing with to lay this on. Um, if you're worried about heat, because 392 degrees, that is considerably warm. And we actually were using this at the maximum temperature, so it cools down relatively quickly. And the ceramic uh, portions are, again, as I stated, uh, you know, kept away 
by the um, raised portion there. So anyway, I just want to share that with you. I think it's really cool. I'm probably going to grow my beard back out again because it is going to start getting colder here soon. And I kind of just like to change it up sometimes. And uh, this will definitely come in handy. I'm going to keep this for myself for that purpose and for any other frizz uh, issues that I have to deal with because I have relatively short, fine hair. And then uh, my mom will probably order one for her. Maybe you'll want to order one for yourself. So check this real quick video out. It'll show the uh, example that hopefully gives you an idea of what you might expect. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so although this is intended primarily for beards and you know for hair as well, this is just an example. So on the right hand side over here, you can see it's much more smoothed out and over here, not as smoothed out. So this side has been treated using this uh, beard slash hair uh, warming type comb. This side hasn't. And hopefully you can see it makes a pretty big difference. So one side is not smooth and the other isn't. So that gives you an idea kind of, you know, what it actually looks like to give you a before after. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully that example was sufficient to give you an idea of what you can expect from this comb.